Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I just got my new iPhone 11 and I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions and hopefully decluttering all of my pictures that I don't need anymore, videos I don't need anymore, apps I don't use, music I don't listen to, all that good stuff. So yeah, let's just get into it. So in deciding which phone I was going to get, I was debating between the iPhone XS and the iPhone 11 just because those are, I think those are the two newest ones and um... I just know a lot of people that have both so I went to Instagram and I polled which one I should get and these were the results and I at first I was kind of dead set on getting the XS I believe just because I thought that it was going to be a little cheaper because it's older than the iPhone 11 and I don't know I think it was a little smaller in size because the, they said that the iPhone 11 is a little bulkier which to me it really doesn't seem that way but um they said the iPhone 11 was a little bulkier and I'm used to my tiny iPhone 8 so I didn't want a huge phone but once I got into looking I literally was watching so many YouTube videos on which one I should get which one was better the differences the similarities all that good stuff and really what it boiled down to was I wanted a better camera especially now that I am doing YouTube um obviously I'm still a very small channel but sometimes it's not always the easiest to take my camera everywhere with me especially like when me and Jonathan we went kayaking one day and I didn't want to take my camera because I was terrified I was going to drop it in the water so I took my phone but the video quality was just not great and I just like sometimes I don't know if it's like a computer glitch or my phone or what the deal is but sometimes when I import videos from my iPhone 8 to my Mac the video like the video sound doesn't come with it or like it'll only come for half the video so then like the video is basically useless especially if it's ones that I'm talking in because you only get half of what I'm saying so that was kind of irritating and this screen is a little bigger so I'm gonna get iMovie on here and maybe try to do a little editing on my phone if at all possible just because I don't always have my computer but I do have like if I'm out somewhere and I have free time I'm just like waiting like waiting at the doctor or something like that I thought about maybe I could edit my videos on my phone a little bit I don't really know how well that's gonna work but we will see um so like I said the main reason I got the iPhone 11 is because one, the camera is a little bit better. I like the fact that it has the wide range um, lens and the fact that it, I think somewhere I read that it will like take like multiple pictures and then it will combine them all to get like the best lighting, the best um, focus and all that good stuff. So I kind of want to try that out and see how that works. Especially like when I go to the beach and stuff and I'll take pictures of the sunset, my iPhone 8 just never does it justice. And I'm hoping that my iPhone 11 will do a little bit better with that also the reason I ended up going with the 11 first of all because every one of my friends was like you should get the 11 because you know it's newer and it has more of a like future proof I think is what they call it so like it'll last much longer with the hard drive that's in it and all that good stuff I don't really know the proper terms but I saw that in a lot of videos so I was like I I usually keep my phones for a very long time like my iPhone 6 I literally kept it until it just pretty much did not work anymore so I am known to keep them all because I don't like spending money on iPhones because they are so expensive. And that leads me to my next point of I got the iPhone 11 because somehow it ended up being cheaper than the iPhone XS when I bought it online. Because Verizon was doing a $300 off online only for the iPhone 11. So I ended up getting it I think for like $700 instead of $1,000. Thank God. And I'm making monthly payments. So my monthly payments are only like $24, I think. And my if I would have gotten the iPhone XS, it was going to be like $28 a month, which is only $4 difference. But I would rather pay $4 less and get a newer phone that's going to last longer and has a better camera and has, you know, better some better qualities that I'm looking for. So that is why I went with the iPhone 11 instead of the XS. I also looked into the XR mainly honestly because it was a lot cheaper but after watching reviews and watching comparisons I kind of decided you know that's not really what I'm looking for. So I got the purple iPhone 11 and this box is cool like the iPhone on the side is purple and so is the Apple symbol. That's cool. I've never seen that before. I got the 128 gigabytes. Um, I currently have the iphone 8 and it is only 64 gigabytes and i literally only have like four gigabytes left of storage granted i haven't went through all of my stuff and deleted everything that i don't need anymore but still i feel like i'm gonna have this phone for probably many many years because i don't want to have to buy a new one and this is supposed to last for a very long time so i figured i would just go with 128 gigabytes because it will last longer and i'll be able to store more in it and all that good stuff also, it wasn't that much more expensive than the 64, so I was like, I might as well just go ahead and get the bigger one. So, let's figure out how to open this. It's 
so satisfying. Well, probably already broke it. Awesome. Moment of truth. Oh, and so pretty. Look at it. It's like the perfect purple. It's like not too bright, but it's not too like gray either. Which I, right now I have the space gray iPhone 8, but I've had the space gray phone for like three phones now and I needed some color in my life. Also, I usually have a clear case, so I thought it would be pretty with the purple. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so for size comparison, it's only like this much bigger than my 8. Like they're, they're really not that much different. So, that's nice. Um, and it came with, you know, the typical charging block headphones that they trick you into thinking that you got AirPods, but you didn't because they're cheap and they don't want to give those away for free. And then another charger, which is great because I actually just lost mine somewhere in my car and have not been able to find it yet. This is literally my favorite part, is peeling off this thing. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's so crisp and clean and doesn't have scratches in it like my old phone does. Okay, we're turning her on. Maybe. Here she goes. I'm so excited. The phone I have now is literally only like two years old, but... I know they're about to come up with a new iPhone, I think in October maybe. And what happened with my last phone is when they came out with the iPhone X, my iPhone 6 started like glitching all the time and I was like, that's going to happen to my 8, I just know it is. So I went ahead and bought this one because Verizon was doing a $300 off if you buy online. So it's like, might as well go ahead and get it now instead of waiting for the new one to come out because I'm not going to be able to afford it. And I don't need it to be the newest thing. But this is weird, it doesn't have a home button and I don't really know what to do. Oh, you slide up. I'm stupid. English, United States, set up manually. My internet is super slow, so who knows if this is even gonna work. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Awesome. Okay, well while this loads, I'm gonna show you the phone cases that I got. I got these on Amazon, this one, it's just a clear case. I haven't taken it out of the package yet. So. I thought the clear case, I like the clear case because on my eight, I have a Polaroid in the back of the clear case. And I really cannot get this open. Like, what the heck? Why is everything so complicated for me? I don't understand. <sighs> Screw it, I'm ripping it apart. Got it. Maybe. It's just a clear, like, not rubber, like it's sort of flimsy, but the like the back is not really that flimsy, but the sides are. I just think it's gonna look super pretty. If I can get it in. Oh, I like that a lot. I know it's just clear and it doesn't look any different, but I don't know. I like I have a colored phone. I want people to be able to see the color. And I want to be able to see the color. Otherwise, I would have just gotten a black one. And then I also got this sunflower case and to be honest I didn't read the reviews before I bought it so I'm a little nervous that the sunflower like part of it what the heck a phone stand I don't know how to use this but came with the phone case so cool I guess didn't know it came with that but I didn't read the reviews on this but I read that these sunflowers come off kind of easy so like if you put a pop socket on it and you take the pop socket off which I don't really know why you would do that but apparently it like peels off the like sticker I guess I don't know but I got the sunflowers I thought it would look pretty on the purple so we'll see probably doesn't because that's my look but oh no I like it it looks more like gray I feel like I don't know maybe I'm tripping it looks more gray with the sunflowers but I do like it oh you just that was strange. It was locked and I was like, oh, let's touch the home button, but it's not there and I don't really know. You just tap it. Swipe up to open. Confirm your phone number. Here we are again. It may take a few minutes to activate your phone. This is fun. I actually hate activating new phones because my internet is so slow that it literally doesn't work. I'm going to have to go to my grandma's for it to transfer all my things. Otherwise, it will probably take like a week. I'm not kidding. I guess while I'm waiting for this, I could go through my pictures on my old phone and delete them because when I tell you I don't ever delete 
anything. I'm not kidding. I literally, let's see. I have over 6,000 pictures, over 800 videos. I have pictures from 2012 on my phone. The first picture of my camera roll is from 2012 and it is 2020. So when I say I never delete anything, I'm not kidding. Like, it's embarrassing, but I just can't get rid of them. Also, I never delete text messages ever. Like literally never. Like, I'm gonna scroll to the bottom of my text messages. The very bottom text message is from September of 2015. I have problems. I have no reason to keep these. Like they're all, like most of them, I actually went back and looked through some of them yesterday. Literally most of them are like three texts between me and someone that I literally don't even talk to anymore. The phone number that I have for them is probably not even right. And like I have so many contacts from like all the jobs I had at school. I literally have like 300 contacts. And I literally text two people. Two, face ID, we're gonna set up my face ID now. Continue, I've never had this before. Position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show all of the angles of your face. This ought to be fun. Okay, my head is in the frame. Am I doing this right? First face ID scan complete. Awesome. Is this gonna work with my mask on? Because I have to wear that at work. Face ID is now set up. Awesome, create a passcode. Four digits, because no one has time for six. Let's be real here. I'm just gonna not transfer apps and data yet because I'm literally gonna have to go to my grandma's to do that. So I'm not even gonna start it because I know it's not gonna work. Anyways, so we'll just log in with my Apple ID. Oh no, I don't remember my Apple ID password. This one is weird. I don't like having no pop socket now. Your Apple ID password is incorrect. Um, literally what else could it be? It thinks I'm trying to hack my own Apple ID because I got the password wrong so many times. Oh, this takes too long. This is why I never get new phones because it takes forever. I literally had my iPhone 6 for almost four years because I didn't want to get a new one and set it up because it's just too much work because I, I had to take it to the Verizon store to set it up last time and the guy was like, you have entirely too many pictures. You need to delete them. Like, no sir, don't tell me how to live my life. That's rude. I really don't know what I'm gonna do without a home button. This is very weird to me, like, how do you, I don't know how you get out of things. My friend has the iPhone XS, I think, and I was like doing something and I was trying to clear out the app because I just always clear out my apps and I like moved all her apps around instead. So she had to go back and fix it because I didn't know what I was doing. All right, I'm gonna go through my pictures now because this is taking literally forever. Let's see how many pictures I can delete. Every time I get started to delete pictures, things pop up and I get distracted. This is why I never delete pictures. It's a sign. It's a sign that I just shouldn't. I'm switching it to dark mode because I'm blind and it hurts my eyes. Standard because zoomed is too much. Swipe up from the bottom edge at any time to go home. Oh, so instead of having the button, you just swipe. That's interesting. Swipe up further from the bottom edge, then release to show your recent apps. That's gonna be confusing. I'm used to double clicking the home button. Welcome to iPhone. I, like this screen is phenomenal. Like you can literally see the reflection of my camera right now. That is freaking cool. And it looks brand new because I haven't imported anything yet. So that's fun. So yeah, I'm gonna head to my grandma's now to set it up because I do have to go to work this afternoon and I want to get it done before then. Alright, so it has now been like, I want to say like six days since I got my new phone and I figured that was probably plenty of time for me to give a actual review on it about whether I liked it or not because I've had plenty of time to kind of get used to it and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So I will say that not having a home button was probably the weirdest thing to get used to because I've literally had a home button ever since I got a phone. But um, once I figured out like what I was actually doing and how to like close out all the apps and stuff, it was m much simpler actually. I will say this phone is bigger than my 8, so it's kind of hard to like reach across the screen like when I'm texting or to reach all the way to the top. I definitely need to get a pop socket because I have small hands and like it will just be easier I think if I have a pop socket because I'm always scared I'm going to like drop it because it's so big the face id is all right i'll be honest i don't really like the face id i would rather have a like a fingerprint or something but mainly because right now like at work i have to wear a mask all day long and my face id doesn't recognize my face so i end up having to type in my password every single time i want to open my phone which is super irritating and 
like whenever I don't have the mask on I guess it's fine and like it works when it's dark and stuff so that's not a big deal but I would like to have the fingerprint or something that's quicker than typing in my passcode every single time just because of all this coronavirus stuff going on having to wear masks and all that stuff now that they're mandatory. The next thing I will say, the camera is phenomenal and I have really been feeling myself lately. Like I will be looking so gross, but the camera is so nice. Like it just makes it look so much better. And like in the low light, it works really well now compared to my old phone, which everything would get kind of pixelated and blurry and stuff whenever it was darker outside or just like low light in general. Um, so that's really nice. With that being said, you can literally see every single pore in my face if you get close enough, which could be a bad thing, I guess. But I'm about to go on vacation to the beach and I want to try out like the wide angle and all that good stuff that comes on it. Um, I will say it was kind of confusing at first. I went to a wedding and it was a little darker, so I needed the flash and I could not get it to turn on. I did not know what I was doing at all and like i kept hitting the button but it wasn't actually working so that was a little weird but like i have portrait mode now and that's so cool to me i don't i've never had it also this phone zooms out a lot which is cool because of the wide angle so like it gives it kind of like a fisheye look sort of kind of without actually having a fisheye lens so that's cool i literally just noticed that looking at it again but that's cool i like that a lot and there's like a lot more effects and stuff than there was on my 8 that I think will be fun to work with. I still have to get used to it. One thing I don't, I didn't like, I had to go back in and fix is, I guess it was just like the default settings. Um, whenever I like sent everything over to my phone, on my old phone, whenever I would get notifications like text messages or whatever, it would show me a preview. But the default on this phone is to only show you a preview if your phone is unlocked. And I hate that. Like, I hate having to unlock my phone to look at it. So, I had to go through and redo every single one, which kind of took a minute. But that's fine. And it, for whatever reason, if someone messages me on Facebook, it will send me a notification on Messenger and on Facebook for both, like, for the same message. And I ha cannot figure out how to turn that off and only get it on one. So... I need to figure that out, but I don't think that's really a phone problem. I think that's a me problem. So everything is like so quick. Like you click on something and it comes up like it's there. Like it's up so fast. And on my old phone, it like would kind of lag. I think it was just because it was old. Another problem I do have is I think I type too fast. And like when I'm typing a text message, if I'm not paying attention, like it will skip letters. So it will put random words that I'm not trying to say, which can be kind of aggravating. If I just slow down, then maybe it won't do that, but we'll see. I don't know. So yeah, that's pretty much my review. Everything about it is just so clean and elegant and like the light on it is just incredible. Like it's so, just so like crisp, such a crisp picture and everything's so smooth and I just love it. I love it so much. Truly, this was a great purchase. Also, this case on it is super cute, I think. And like the color purple is phenomenal. I'm a fan, I'm very much a fan. Get the iPhone 11 because I said so. So that concludes today's video of my iPhone review. Um, I really do like my iPhone 11 much better than my iPhone 8, obviously, and I plan on keeping it for a very long time, mainly because I don't have money to buy a new one. And this one is supposed to last for a while. It's supposed to be future proof, so if you were thinking about getting it, I definitely would recommend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you have any other iPhone 11 reviews, pros, cons, iPhone organization tips, anything like that that you would like to share, please leave them down below in the comments. And I will see you guys next week.